Okay. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here with my buddy John. We're here to review last night in Soho. Soho. I keep wanting to say it one night in Soho. It's last night in Soho. Which is based off an old song title. Yeah. Or a title old song. Let me get a thing of that. Uh, directed by Edgar Wright. Probably best known from Shaun of the Dead. And also co written by him and the lady that wrote 1917 war movie. And it stars. Thomason McKenzie from Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. Who uh, goes, moves to London to go to a fashion school. Yes. To learn how to design outfits and stuff. And uh, her mother passed away, but she sees a, seems to see me as a ghost of her mother. Well, she can't stand living in a dorm, so she goes to live yeah. in a house written by, read by an old lady, which I didn't recognize. It was, Diana Riggs from uh, the Avengers yes. TV series, not the superhero yeah. franchise. Yeah. Well, they, they, um, I remember Al Bundy did a thing about Diana Riggs saying how old yeah. she was, but I mean, well, we all yeah. get old, so, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it had, she uh, starts to have visions or dreams. It starts off as dreams where uh, she's transported back in the 60s, which she's already obsessed with, and see. Uh, kind of experiences a little bit of a life of a aspiring singer and dancer from the type here, played by Anna Taylor Joy from The Witch and Split and much more. And then uh, it's really interesting. Like uh, they're showing, like she's looking, Thomason's looking in the mirror, but it's actually Anna. And he said they did that scene practically. And then a guy in the mirror was played by the twin brothers that played the twin Weasley brothers yeah. in uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, that's cool. So that's how he, so he did stuff like that. And then it's like the guy that is kind of helping on this character to become uh, a singer is played by Matt Smith from Doctor Who. There's also appearance by Terrence Stamp. Yes. General Zod. Also from the adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And uh, who else did they have? Um, <laughs> I can't remember, I can't remember. Yeah, uh, it's a good cast. Yeah, so, awesome. Uh, I think, uh, so this was Diana Rick's <laughs> last movie as well as the bartender, or the owner of the bar that uh, Thomas's in, yeah. character works at, yeah. who was in one of James Bond movies. So I guess a lot of he I guess I don't know he must like Bond because uh, I was reading trivia he references a lot of Bond movies yeah. and here there's a lot of them because the movie on the marquee when she flashes into the, the Thunderball movie. yeah but anyways it's really good because it's like kind of a mystery of what's going on it's yeah and we don't want to give too much away because it's very well done it treads some old grounds it's like his tribute to like 60s horror yeah. stuff. And, Great. Uh, so a lot of stuff's familiar, but done it kind of differently. Yeah. Like Jason pointed out, there's some things at the end. Yeah. That we see in other movies, but the way yeah, the way it's done or it, shot, and, it was yeah. a bit different take yeah. on it. So it seems like a, it's a, maybe a salute to those old school movies. Yeah. 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 It was. It was weird because I mean I didn't know. I know Chris Stuckman reviewed it, but I didn't watch his review. I saw John got it. I didn't know. Really, anybody? I didn't want to read. I wanted sometimes it's just fun just to watch where you cold yeah, stuff. Yeah, we watched the trailer yeah. before. Yeah, that well, watch the trailer. Yeah, a couple of years. That was a while back. Yeah, but the trailer though it showed a lot. What the trailer shows, yeah, you know, it shows everything. But again, it was done kind of out of context. Yeah. So it seems a little bit different than what the movie was. So I think they did a really good job. Or yeah, they showed a lot, but it's not. Quite exactly with the movie. Yeah. It's not oh, what you think yeah. it's going to be. It, it's a yeah. long movie. Well, yeah, two game. hours. Yeah, but I moved by. I mean, uh, sometimes you can get a long, super long movie. It'll you know, move by. I was going to say moves by a stealth, but no, it moves by uh, pretty quick. Because, like, right. you know, like whenever. Uh, well, she was having. I was hooked right away when she said she went to that dorm. Everyone was being a bitch. But she was also being very standoffish, too. Right. You know, or like, she gets like. Someone said something like, oh, and then she left the bar or something like that. And people got to think maybe she's too much of a prude or something like that. I didn't know exactly where the movie was going, but it was like a brilliant take of like insanity in a horror film and stuff. 
And it was brilliantly shot and very creative effects and stuff like that. Very creative. I mean, it was really brilliant. Yeah, I, I really I'd say was this impressed. Is first true horror movie because the rest have been horror yeah. comedies. Yeah. And boy, this is one of my favorite movies of. It's yeah, it was me brilliant. This and Shaun of the Dead are the two favorite now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was really. I was really impressed by it. I mean, <laughs> I give it a ten out of ten. I thought. I mean. I gotta tell my friend Spoof about it. I think you'll really like it great too. Great music too. Yeah, from the great era. music too. And I mean, you know, from a uh, viewpoint of a female, which is fine. I, I thought it was really good. Yeah, I think you did a brilliant job with it. I just uh, keep stop calling it one night and so and last night and so. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't, yeah. You know, I tried not to guess at the ending. <laughs> so I tried. I tried to and guess this either. This one I didn't uh, expect to, to go the way. It yeah, did. I didn't expect because it either. If you look at the trailer, it looks like one type of movie, but it's kind of a different type. I mean, it's similar and yet different. Yeah, it's and, a brilliant horror. Yeah, there's some scenes that, jeez, uh, it's like I think we're taken from other horror movies yeah. too and stuff, but. It, but again, it felt like an ode to those old yeah. horror films. Yeah, and even like, like it, it, there's a sense of mystery. I'm gonna, I gotta take me a second to focus. Even if you look at the cover art, you don't know what to expect. Maybe it's an action movie last night, so it doesn't sound like a horror film. But it's a horror film. It's a darn good or one. It could be a romance movie. Or it could be a romance, or you know, yeah, last night in Soho. Yeah, you don't know what. It's too yeah. dark enough. But, it uh, was cool. I think they did a. I, think I thought they did, they did a dang good job. job. I think they did a dang good job. I gave it 10 out of 10. So, uh, people, if you're turned off by him because of Baby Driver, which a lot of people were. Uh, really? People didn't like. Yeah, Howie Cat. Really? I mean, well, tell me what you would say about Baby Driver. But, uh, wow. I think you think that he redeems himself with this movie. No. I'll tell you what, I thought Baby Driver was brilliant. But I remember Howie Cat, uh, he commented, well, he passed away, rest in peace. He commented, he said, like, Jason really gave me a good idea to see Baby Driver. He thought it was brilliant. He really liked it. Yeah, and he liked the way he used that, that music. That was terrible. Oh, I didn't think it was terrible. I thought it was wonderful. Yeah, uh, yeah I know. I, I was, think most people liked it, but there's plenty of people. Oh, yeah. Know, well, that's true with every movie. movie. Well, same thing with The Witch. So, and they had, like, uh, uh, Watch Motor had a thing about people walked out and they said it was too boring. I didn't think it was boring at all. I it was theatrical. Well, yeah, I mean, like, it could, yeah, yeah. But I uh, think it was boring. And uh, on a uh, Taylor Joy, she seems that she must like horror movies. She did The Witch. Yeah. Then she did Split, yeah. and then the the sequel, uh, Mr. Glass, and then this movie. I can't remember if there's any other horror movies she's done. But yeah, so she's done a few horror movies. She doesn't see mine. Well, it's funny is like uh, interviews with her because I forget what country mm -hmm. she's, she's from. I can't remember if she's. I want to say Argentina, but that might not be. But her family moved to England. Uh, but she was picked on a lot in school and stuff yeah. in lockers, and people would think she's pretty. But I'm like, boy, now all those people that treat her like shit, she could just laugh at because it's yeah. like, now she's this rising superstar. Yeah. The hit series. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah. Chess game, what was that? Um, the Queen's Gambit. Oh, okay. She started in that. That was a popular huge. So she's like going to become a superstar. Oh, uh, yeah. Someone that was picked on a lot, and now she's a big star. Yeah. That's cool. And she could sing, because there's parts where, you know, she's singing the rendition okay. of Downtown, and it's actually yeah. her singing. I can't leave them. Okay, I got to finish uploading that one. It's almost done. I got to finish doing it. But, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, it was a fantastic movie. Yeah, it was wonderful. It really was. I was really impressed by it. I think, I mean, you know, and then it's not like, well, there's bloodshed in it, but I mean, it's not like it's about blood. I mean, but. It's not gory. Yeah, well, I mean, it's gory in a little pieces, little bits of pieces. Uh, I, I don't consider that gory. Yeah. There's bloodshed, but yeah. I don't think it was gory. Yeah, but it was brilliant. I mean, it doesn't gory have to. Gory to me is like when you go really you know, real bro Yeah, well, it was bloody, not gory bloody. How yeah. about bloody? Yeah. Okay. Bloody. It's, it's, uh, gory. Yeah, it's a bloody good time, too. Yeah. But yeah, uh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, and I it was I was really impressed. Yeah. It really was. Cause I didn't know what to think of it. You know what I mean? Last night, so. And if I, you're not into horror movies, cause you don't like to be scared, it's not a scary movie. Uh, it's more, you know. It's trippy. It's, it's yeah, a little supernatural know. and stuff. Yeah, but, but I, I yeah, it was really good. I think you, 
Yeah. So I think a lot of people will like it in normal like yeah. horror movies. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're shooting yeah. crush now. Oh, no, no, no. The pizza, <laughs> no, the pizza box. The pizza box. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, Rita, <laughs> let's see. I'm Rita had some. I'll re put some stuff on it. Oh, cool. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if there's anything more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. about it. So I hope you like the video, everybody. Till next time, please take care of my legion. All right. For me and John. No, I mean, I really. I really did like that movie. It's really, it's quite good. All right. Take care, everybody.